Packer and Durham on a Monday. 844-SAY-ACCN is the number, by the way. I don't think I gave that out yet. But nevertheless, we got stuff to get into. Uh, Wes, you mentioned it's Unity Week. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very important deal for the Atlantic Coast Conference. Yeah, the Committee for Racial and uh, Social Justice, CORE, is uh, an ACC initiative. And it's uh, Unity Week is recognized in the fall, the winter, and now... In the spring schedule, and in fact, all the spring sports will be in action this week as we honor uh, the student athletes who are working to make a change on their campuses and in their communities. And we start this morning with a young man who has come to Miami to compete in track and field. He's outstanding, and a winner of the Arthur Ashe Scholarship is uh, Isaiah Holmes, who joins us this morning from Coral Gables. Isaiah, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing beautiful. It's a, another beautiful day down here in paradise. Yeah. How are you guys doing? <laughs> We're good. <laughs> All right, let's get something out of the way here first before we dive into this pack. Isaiah is a native of Rossville, California. Started his collegiate career at UCLA, and I guess the weather just wasn't perfect. So in order <laughs> to have 365 perfect days, you go to Coral Gables. My man, you have been truly blessed on that light for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Best Blessed is understatement. I'm very, very grateful for uh, opportunities that have been presented in front of me. You know, we know you're a very, very talented student and athlete, but, you know, it's always another level, right? There's always something else to go achieve and do. Uh, why was this so important to you, to be tied into the Unity Week and the things that you're doing there in Coral Gables? What drives you? Yeah, you know, yeah, that's a, it's a great question. And, uh, I, I mean, I believe very passionately. Uh, passionately about uh, diversity. I think it's extremely important and to be a part of a conference and an institution that supports that so strongly, uh, you know, it just made it so much easier for me to get involved with that. And um, I, as you can see here, uh, we started uh, a club on campus, uh, a Black Student Athlete Alliance, where we bring together uh, student athletes um, and like encourage, I'm sorry, like share our stories and like build a space for us to to, you know, really feel comfortable and uh, empower each other to like push the culture forward. Mm. You know, Isaiah, you're in a community that is one of the most diverse the country has, period. I mean, Miami and South Florida is a feel really unique into itself. So finding that kind of initiative can't be that difficult. But I would ask this on a college campus like the University of Miami, uh, what are you finding is the message that, that people are most receptive to in this time of change in this light? Huh. No, that's, a, that's a really interesting question. And I, I would say that um, the idea of inclusivity, I think, mm -hmm. is probably, I think that's something that hasn't really been talked about enough until recently. So having that that dialogue being taken place is really changing people's perception on what they think about diversity. So this is not just uh, diversity in the sense of uh, racial diversity, but also age diversity, uh, gender diversity, uh, inclusiveness of LGBTQ communities. Like it's this whole conversation has started a whole spill of things that have, I, I believe to benefit the, the entire community, not just uh, certain populations. Hmm. Isaiah, did you sense the same thing at UCLA as you now see at Miami? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, as I mentioned, I was very fortunate to attend some incredible institutions in that UCLA, I think, has been even more of a, uh, a presence of that in the past. Like, there's such a rich history of uh, that, like, as uh, my colleague at University of Southern, or, I'm sorry, of Los Angeles, California, Los Angeles, UCLA, says uh it's pushing the culture forward hmm. and that it's just a, such a rich history we have like the jackie robinson's the uh cream de, de brule oh man i messed that one up bro pretty bad abdul jabbar, abdul -Jabbar right yeah, yeah. yeah abdul jabbar yeah thank you <laughs> but yeah like there's just such that rich history of um, all these athletes that are like really pushing that narrative and uh you can see that especially during this past year we uh, before I left UCLA, we actually started a, a similar organization that we started here. And it, it's the idea of leveraging that rich history to still mm -hmm. communicate that message in a modern day. And like so what that what they were fighting for uh, tens of years ago to f see what they're doing now, like applying that to now and how we can 
make the appropriate changes what's right for our current society and what the future looks like for us. Isaiah, when the institutions of the ACC get together to to meet uh, the core group, those kinds of things, I'm I'm curious about the conversations that occur because Mark and I visit in the winter with folks who are doing things on campuses. We know what, like you've already shared with us, what's important at Miami and the priorities there. When other student athletes around the ACC, you guys get to visit, what are those conversations like and where do you think the work is uh, is best being done there? I think the what's really the benefit of having such a, a supportive conference is like you mentioned, like the ability to come together as as one, like this is like kind of the point of unity is coming together for collective change. So when we meet have these meetings, I think the most important valuable thing to come out of it is best practice sharing. Like what's going on in your campus? What's working on your campus? How is that impact? And how can we take that and apply it to our campus? And I think that it's, it's been very beneficial in the sense that we've been able to use what other people are doing and make those small changes to fit the, the population at our institution and like apply it in the way that we feel is best fit to make that uh, impact or even more of an impact. Hmm. Isaiah, you do so much other volunteer work yeah. uh, up and above being a part of this, you know, movement, if you will, to be at Miami and UCLA. Uh, you know, I've always found students, young people that really love volunteer work are, are really a special breed. I mean, there's a sense of, hey, uh, local pride. There's a sense of, hey, uh, we're all blessed. Let's give back. W- where did that start for you? Yeah, well, first off, I'm very flattered that you still think I'm young. Uh, you are. You know, I sometimes I don't always feel that way. <laughs> no, you are. Trust me, you're young. <laughs> <laughs> um, but to answer your question, it, it all started because of uh, my mom. She was extremely involved in the community when I was growing up. Um, so when I was I was young, I was always in like been around that. Like, let's go volunteer. Let's go. Um, let's go do this. Like, there's a. I'm from just outside of Sacramento is my hometown in California. Uh, there's like the, there's a volunteer organization that my mom was heavily involved in. So I was always, uh, when I wasn't, you know, competing in athletic events, I was out there volunteering with my, with my family. So when I got to college, it was only natural to start, um, finding my own, uh, group in terms of volunteering. So I, I started getting involved with little things here and there, and then eventually, you know, I kind of get, got addicted to it and then I could not be involved. <laughs> well, wow. I want to tell you this. You're one of the more decorated uh, track and field athletes the ACC has, not just in the ACC itself, but also within your campus community, and you're to be congratulated. We appreciate the time here oh, for Unity. Wait, whoa, 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 I almost whoa, forgot. Whoa, 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 I almost, Mr. Oh, I'm, on, I, Mr. I, I <laughs> almost dropped the ball here. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. Isaiah, here's the deal. Uh, you're making your debut All on right. the show. All right. Okay. Uh, I want to know this. Since you've been at the University of Miami, what has been your hardest class? Oh boy! Oh, oh man! You know, that's interesting. So I've been since I've been at the University of Miami, I've only taken graduate level courses, and ironically, because of the such rigor of the classes I took at UCLA, like it, it's Hasn't been too hard here, uh, to be honest, but I'd say the hardest class I've taken was accounting because that was just something completely new to me. I was a political science major when I was at UCLA and then coming here and taking accounting. I would never taken that before. That was a lot of new things that I've never seen before. All right. One more question. You better yeah, not. Screw, you, on me. you better not screw this one up. <laughs> Oh no! Be, it's a lot be, of pressure. The, no, no, no! You aren't. This is the, this is gonna be the toughest question you've got. Growing up outside of Sacramento, oh boy! Going to school at UCLA, mm. your favorite Major League Baseball team is whom? Ooh. Uh, By the way, before you answer, there is a correct answer and there is a wrong answer here. All right. Well, can I give you a hint? I don't want you to. I don't want you to think that I'm a bandwagon, all right? But I would have to give it to the Dodgers. Oh, that's the wrong answer. Oh, that's <laughs> the wrong answer. That's, hey, Isaiah. I'm speaking my truth. 
Isaiah, listen. Oh, hear me out. It's been great right, having I'm you on the show. Here, it's got? been great. Let me talk to you a second. Oh. Let me talk to you a second. Oh, no. You were doing but so you well. Me. No, you were doing so well. I mean, you, you have been a tremendous student, right? You got a great grades at UCLA, great school. You go to Miami, you're cruising, you're rocking it. Go to get a graduate degree and all that master's and all that cool stuff. <laughs> you're a great track and field athlete. <laughs> Well decorated. Oh. You've gone through all that stuff. I'm even okay, more impressed. We can just end there. I think we're going. No, 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 no. no. You, need to, you need to listen to me for just a second. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you do all this great charitable work, which I really respect you for, right? I mean, you know, there's not I a lot of that. students that just assume, oh, I'm just going to go with the crowd. Hey, it takes a lot of guts to do volunteerism, to say, hey, listen, I want to make an impact on society. I respect you beyond belief. For, I love when young people take ownership. Awesome. I appreciate that. But let me tell you something. Oh, no. <laughs> your, your choice in baseball stinks. <laughs> I mean, it absolutely, you know, look at the jacket you got on. You got a lot of orange. You know what goes good with orange in baseball from California? The Giants. The, the San Giants. Francisco Giants. <laughs> All right. Uh, for a kid that grew up outside of Sacramento, for you to say what you said on this show on national television... <laughs> I am almost <laughs> feel disrespected. Oh, God, I, God, I love really? you for what you're doing, but you have Come got on. you have got to change your mind with that. We got to get you straight. All right, in my, and all that. In my defense, yes, I spent my entire adult life in Los Angeles. Oh, see. So like, I, once I turned 18, I, I was like my new life. Oh, I started oh, over. See, and see, then, see. Hey, hey, hey! Listen, listen. That's even more reason to not like them, because you've been able to spend time there. <laughs> Isaiah, we wish you the best. We man. wish you the very best. Thanks so much for yeah, spending thank time you guys with so us. Much for having Appreciate us. you helping us kick off Unity Week on ACC Network. <laughs>